So we switched tactics. We went to shallow water, we're only about 14 foot of water. We're catching big perch. Uh, I wanted to show you guys my setup and how I'm doing this here. Um, so if we turn this around, what we did, we went around, we punched a bunch of different holes. Six, seven, eight holes around us. And we're just jumping with our camera. Marking fish. We're using slab grabbers. Just waiting for some fish to pop up on the screen. Jig a couple times, get their attention. As soon as we get what we're looking for, there it comes. Here it comes. Slow down the jigging a little bit and lift it up off the bottom. See if we can get them to bite it. Sometimes it takes a little finesse. They don't want to do it. Yep, we went back down. Come on. There we go. Here he is. high off the bottom. They only come up about a foot. If you go past that, they won't chase it. And then you get some jumbos like that. This is a pretty big pregnant female. We're going to go ahead and put her back in. We don't want to keep all these. We want to come back and enjoy this for a long time. One catching them. Let's get another one. We got fish coming. He's right on it. Oh, I missed him. Hurry up and drop it right back down. Might be a school. I missed him. Fell asleep on the job. He got me. But we're catching right there, baby. Try to get down there as quick as we can here. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, buddy. Not bad. I want to show you guys my fishing setup here. Uh, got a rod holder, which I drilled out the back of my pole, put the rod holder in. It's uh, extremely nice for keeping your reel out of the snow and ice and water when you're baiting your hook or if you're taking a fish off or whatever. So neat little idea that you can go ahead and bend that with pliers, drill your rod out, put that in there. Anytime you want to set it down, retie your rods off the ice and good to go there. Uh, next thing I built, kind of a little redneck ingenuity. I got my camera mounted up on a five gallon bucket. It's only about four or five inches tall. Uh, all that's mounted to a one by six piece of wood. So I just go ahead and drop my transducer in here in the water. I got my bucket here that I sit on and I'm fishing. So I got my screen right in front of me here. I can go ahead and jig. Uh, 
in the evening time when I want to take this out this is just right out of my case here I can take it in charge a whole unit I never have to disconnect the battery or deal with any of that stuff uh, in transport when I go to switch holes simply put my transducer in here got a rope it's all one unit if I wanted to I can carry my pole my fish bucket or my minnows I have my graph and I could easily have my auger or anything else I wanted in this hand a couple more buckets and I could be real mobile and go ahead and bounce around uh, it's working really good today we're bouncing holes we're picking one fish up one or two here or there so we're being real active and moving a lot and uh, just a different setup I wanted to explain to you guys Hope you enjoy.